then it may mean that uh, they will uh, take out loan money uh, instead. Taking out private loans may be the only option left for some students after the Illinois Monetary Award Program ran out of money. I mean, it's, it's just an unfortunate fact of what where we're um, having to draw back and um, reduce the amount of our budget. This year, uh, we kind of anticipated that that cutoff would increase, especially with more and more FAFSA campaigns occurring, encouraging pe people to file early. MAP is a grant that pays for tuition and institutional fees for students that qualify. Each year, the program has seen decreased funds from the state, and with the first come, first serve process, advisors push students to apply immediately. Last semester when I applied, I applied too late and I wasn't able to receive it, so I feel more confident about getting it this time. Stacy Wade is too familiar with missing out on the MAP grant money. That's why this year she applied early. But for those students that didn't, chances are you won't receive the funds. But there are other options besides loans. We would encourage them to look at outside scholarships. There are several in the local community that they can look at. Um, go ahead and file the FAFSA form. They may qualify for uh, the Pell Grant, which is free grant aid for them to go to school as well. The MAP grant issue will be addressed at Illinois General Assembly, but Representative Jill Tracy thinks next year's funds for the program will be even tighter. She encourages students to look elsewhere for that financial aid. Kristen Aguirre, KHQA News, Quincy.